Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Trey, and I want to talk about the self suicide of the comic book industry because I was watching Axe Chuck Dixon. If you guys um, don't know, legendary writer who've done a plenty of Batman work related things and you guys should be following him <laughs> like there's no other reason not to but he was talking about how the comic book industry seems hell hell bent on seeing who can kill each other who can kill each other first because they keep putting these self-afflicted wounds on themselves and it's just like damn you are definitely right about that DC and Marvel has been just killing themselves for no apparent reason. And it just baffles the mind, really. And I like that Chuck Dixon said that because he's been saying what a lot of us has been saying for a long time. It just doesn't make logical sense why, why DC and Marvel are just self-sabotaging themselves every time. Like, for what to prove a point to to get some congratulations on twitter i mean to jerk each other off i don't know i don't know but like he also stated is you know you have to also think about like you have to make money um there's only so much that their parent company can just take as an excuse for the reasoning why they're not making money or sales or any anything and he's right at some point, you have to start worrying about the numbers. And who who can you blame? You can't blame the fans. You can't blame the stores. You can't blame anybody else but y'all selves. Y'all decided that, hey, what would be cool is if we replace all the classic characters with gender or different races or different sexuality then let's also make sure the women look ugly because women aren't allowed to be sexy any goddamn more um let's make sure the men are cucks that can't seem to do anything without a woman at all and then let's take some some other some characters who are who are known to have who are known to have a lot of opposite sex partners and let's make them part of the LGBT community all of a sudden. Because reasons. And you do it at the height of comic book, supposedly comic book popularity. I just don't understand what's going on. It's this, it's like this self-afflicting wound. And you and, and you know what's so funny? It's like you keep shooting yourself. I've never seen a company that constantly keeps shooting itself. In, in the in the head, in the face, in the shoulder, in the stomach, in the ass. Y'all just keep doing it. Make it make sense, please. Make it make sense, DC Marvel. I just don't think you guys are the big two. You guys are the big two. And you are failing by example. <laughs> like, isn't that weird? Isn't that weird that you're failing by example? Not not succeeding. Not success by example. And, and, and for what? No, seriously. Tell me, for what reasoning is this? What, what, why are we still doing this? Nobody can give an answer? Because it just doesn't make any, any logical sense. You want to you wanna change it for people who, who never gave a damn. You want to make changes so people can feel more seen and loud and heard and all that kind of nonsense and stuff like that. Newsflash, not everything needs to be for everybody and not everything needs to be inclusive or diverse. I'm sorry. It don't. It really don't. I'm so sick of hearing that from people. Oh, we need diversity. People need to see themselves and all the kind of nonsense. No, you technically don't. The reason why I connect with characters like Robin or Spider-Man and Starfire or whatever and stuff like that or Superman, it's not because of their fucking skin color. It's because of their background, their story. I connect with them because of their background, of who they are. I don't, 
just, what? Just because just because Vixen's black, I'm supposed to automatically connect with her? No. Just because Black Lightning is black, I'm supposed to automatically connect with him? No. That's not how this shit works. Of course, I can connect with characters, but y'all want to make it as, as a surface level thing. And it's weird. It's, it's weird. It, it's like it's like you have the option to turn around and instead of turning around course correcting you like no we're gonna ride off this cliff or here the, the the um the mastermind gave you a gun and was like here's either ten thousand dollars or shoot yourself and instead of taking the ten thousand dollars y'all keep shooting yourselves and keep constantly shooting yourselves well, we got immortality, so we can keep shooting ourselves. Ain't nothing going to happen. But after a while, immortality starts running out, too. Just like capital starts running out eventually. Your parent company is going to keep or is going to look at these numbers. They're going to find it weird. And you guys are going to have to course correct. You're going to have to give the fans what they want. Not what you think they want, not what you believe they want, not what you think they should have, but you need to give them what they want. I, I, and, in, and enough, just just stop killing yourselves. You, you have the answer. You have the answer right there, and yet you keep doing it. I've never seen something so stupid before in my in my life. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna keep. Let me let me let me keep keep destroying everything I built up over time. Then you want to try to you want to try to blame Comics Gate. God dang it. You want to try to blame Comics Gate for the mis the misshape the misfallings of your Come on, let's go. Let go. You want to blame um Comics Gate for the mis um misfallings of the industry or whatever. But like Chuck Dixon said, the comic, how is it co coming theater? You mean the people who actually want to keep the characters how they were originally intended to be, to keep the stories how they were and stuff like that, to actually have the characters look like what they're supposed to look like instead of changing them to make them unrecognizable, uninteresting, boring? Yeah, sure. Or you're mad that people decided to take take creativity in their own hands and create products that people want to read you can't get mad at that i mean basically comics gate no matter what whatever the hell you want to goddamn do it with it or whatever is basically what the artists did at image when they formed image comics books except for their hardcore images because you have to remember the people that was doing image comic books at the time they were multi-millionaires. Jim Lee, um, Rob Liefeld, um, God damn it, what, what's the goddamn um, Todd McFarlane and stuff like that. Those guys were already multi-millionaires by the time they decided to be like, fuck y'all. You know what I'm saying? So they didn't have a risk. While, like Chuck said, indie c creators have to take a chance. People like Ethan Van Skyver, Richard Myers, um, Shane Davis, they have to take chances on themselves. They don't have multi-million dollars, you know, to soften the cushion behind the stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, what what are we going to do? That's what I want to know. You know, Marvel, DC, Big Two, you guys need to survive. I mean, I'm not saying that comic books are gonna die or whatever i mean but you're you're dying you you are definitely dying and what i mean is you can put 150 damn books on the shelves every damn month but if you can't really move most of that that product you failed you're dead you're you're dead if if mangas if 200 volume on um, mangas can come out of two 200 different titles can come out per month and actually sell millions? Come on now. Millions to to less than 30K? That ain't much of nothing. That that's that's barely that's barely anything right there. 
and y'all really think y'all doing something, you ain't doing you ain't doing much of nothing. Not not one bit. But this this whole killing yourself stuff, it, it needs to stop. To be honest, this self afflicting suicide pack thing that you guys go, got going on, it needs to stop because I I don't understand why you guys want to kill yourself. I don't understand why you want to kill the industry. I don't understand why you want to kill fans enjoyment for it. I just don't get it. I really don't get it. But maybe you need to learn. Maybe maybe listen to people like Ethan, Richard, Shane, Chuck Dixon, Chris Claremont, which he was a lovely fellow by the way, guys. He he was he was a lovely fellow. He is very talkative too as well and he was just shocked by half the nonsense that was going on from the comic book industry, especially when it came to Marvel. He was just like what the hell are they doing? Yo, guess as good as mine. He was like, "Does do they hate hate comics all of a sudden?" I was like, "You would you would think, right?" <laughs> but anyway, I'm just saying, y'all maybe need to figure out something. But this this can't continue. This just cannot continue. But those are my thoughts. Tell me what you guys think. Comment section below, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.